I'm Hog, this is The Dice, and today we're going to be looking at LARP House's 10-Minute Advanced Character Creator. Before we get going, I just want to mention that we're still accepting submissions for the Switchboard podcast. They can be written or they can be uh, recorded sound files that you send in. Uh, you can find more information about that by clicking on the card there. Okay, time to try LARP House's Advanced RPG Character Creation in 10 Minutes. Bracket, or I'm so, so sorry. Close bracket. <sighs> this is going to be an adventure. Yay, adventure! Good morrow, nerds! This week on the LARP House, I have something for you that I seriously doubt I will be able to adequately that explain. That going crazy. <laughs> we nice were recovery. sitting around the editing bay talking about how complicated character creation can be, and it just sort of devolved into this weird conversation about how we could make the most complicated character in the least amount of time possible by whatever means necessary. And it got... It Dart got board! Weird. But, you know, we do encourage weird here on the LARP house, so without further ado, I give you advanced character creation. Men, pick your favorite plant or herb. Women, pick your favorite metal. People in between, pick your favorite gemstone. Okay, gemstone. Got Tiger's this? Eye. Congratulations. That is your name. Tiger's Eye is a terrible name. Okay, now, for the next 10 seconds, there will be many colors flashing across the screen. So I want you to close your eyes and at any point in the next okay, 10 seconds, closed. press pause. Starting now. I got your face. That's not a color. That's blood. That is, that is, that is a... That is a microscopic okay, image of blood. Okay, congratulations! That is the color of your skin. Oh! Okay, next, look to I'm your left. I'm blood colored and my name that is Tiger's Eye. That is your weapon. A left. So to my left are dead flowers, so I probably am a necromancer druid. Okay, now I want you to roll a d20. Once you have done that, come oh, back. D20. Alright, whatever All right, give me time. you roll, this give me time. Prime Oh, dice bag, I'm so sorry I've neglected you for so long. No, that's a D12. Oh, dice, I'm so sorry I've neglected you so long that I don't remember which one's which. Okay, D20. Ordinary personality trait. One is nervous. Okay. Two is vodka. Seven. Three What's is seven? muscles. Vodka? Four is fabulous. Five is brave idiot. Six is loves only ugly animals. Seven is bitter grandpa. I feel that's a gender neutral term. Eight is I can do that. Seven. Nine yeah, I can do bitter inside. grandpa. Ten that's is basically me. Haunted. Eleven is lizard. Twelve is murder. Thirteen is fancy. Fourteen is really, really attractive. I should take some 15 notes. Fifteen is tiny baby. Sixteen is rude. 17 is immortal, 18 is no soul, 19 is too happy, and 20 is completely normal in every way. Okay, and now we are figuring out all of our characters like quirks and the backstory. So what I am doing is what? I have gathered a bowl of all of my what? favorite things and what? I am tossing them onto an outline of a body I have drawn. All of my favorite toys and foods. What? Whatever lands inside the body is what we're going to analyze. And always make sure you have a d20 rolling in there somewhere. Okay. Okay. Make sure you get all I of the items. Not gonna. And then remove all of the list excess of my favorite items. things because that take 10,000 years. Get your house but... elf to help you. I am gonna grab a bunch of random shit from my. That's not big enough. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, be more of a monster man. That arm is huge. <laughs> well, okay. Random shit from my curiosity cabinet. Cabinet. Yeah, you'll do. You also work. This is gonna be weird as shit. <laughs> yeah, why not? Oh, that's enough. Okay, all right. Let, let's just toss these in then. Stay. No, stop rolling off. No. <laughs> Stay! No! In the body! Okay! Badoom! Right. Drop that again. Okay! Alright. Keep in mind this is stuff for my curiosity cabinet. This is not, like, a, a, a sampling of my favorite things. <laughs> Go with them! <laughs> okay, what am I doing? Okay, Nutella on the hips means child-bearing hips, which means you want babies very badly. What? This means you are only attracted to unicorns and narwhals. Maybe horned creatures. Uh, the mermaid okay. tails is on the arm. And so we are going to assume that whatever is wrong with your arm can be fixed with salt waters. Now I have rolled a number. No, no! Mermaid the, on the, the arm the obviously says, means a tattoo muscles. and therefore a sailor. So, whenever salt water gets on the arm, the muscles go away. That, that is what I am what? interpreting here. <laughs> This potato on the neck means you have been cursed by a witch, and you have a horrible rash on your neck. This means that you. you know, my neighbor make your once nailed a potato to his door. I studied folklore for six years. I still don't know why. We have a princess and a, and a, and a pauper on the eyes. That probably means that whenever you see either a princess oh, a or a dog, I thought you said a pauper. You must save them. That would have been a really weird coincidence. Really need saving. You have two Jafars on your legs, which means that your legs is evil and it will act against your interests. <laughs> if Oogie Boogie on the other leg evil is leg. the same thing, it will always take you places you don't want to go. Oh no, evil legs! Okay, now this arm has the garlic salt on it. <laughs> like baby it, legs in Rick and Morty, except the evil. Water issue, I'm going to say it's the same thing on this arm, so both arm muscles disappear when you get salt water. Evil legs and dissolving arms. For maybe like <laughs> one hour at a time. <laughs> now this is a wizard that okay, ended okay. on the chest, but he's all broken up, so I'm going to say that all of your magical powers only work when your heart is broken or if you are very upset wonderful now the tongue means attraction and the dragon it means mythical creatures so since we already said you're attracted to unicorns I'm going to say that now you're attracted to all mythical creatures your, your tons obviously all of the mean attraction ones. That, that's very reasonable there you go okay all right. Okay, let's let's work this out. Okay, so using that kind of reasoning, um, there's a golem on my leg, which means, okay, golems are artificial life forms. So um, I'm gonna say that my left leg is prosthetic. So my character has a prosthetic left leg. Cool. Okay, and um, there is a a crow skull on the right leg so that the right leg is a dead bird no that's no no my right leg is not a dead bird um, <laughs> so my right leg is a bird leg okay I got a bird leg and a prosthetic leg I guess I'm some sort of mutant um, all right, so this is a little lump of amethyst on my right arm. 
Oh, wow, I'm like fucking Metamorpho or something. No, no, okay, no. I'm not just gonna give myself a fucking amethyst arm. No. I kind of want to give myself an amethyst. I'm giving myself an amethyst arm. Okay, ten. What did ten mean again? That was a close one. Oh, literally haunted! Literally haunted! So, my stump... My, okay. Okay. Right, fine, okay. I've got an amethyst arm. I've got a fucking giant bird leg. I've got a prosthetic right leg. You know what? I'm a fucking homunculus. I'm assembled from fucking random bits and I'm haunted by the bits, by the animals and stuff whose bits I am made of. There we go. Okay, so that's the die. I am, I am made of ghosts. That is what's going on. I am made of ghosts. All right, so this Okay, this, okay, this one needs explaining because it's going to be impossible for anyone but me to know what this thing is. Um, this thing, which is on my left arm, is a tiny knife I made a few years ago out of uh, a fox's jawbone and a megalodon tooth. It actually cuts steak. I've used it. I've tried it. It works. So... Keep in keeping with my fucking Frankensteinian theme, I suppose my left arm is made out of It's made out of bone and fossil and shit. I'm just made entirely out of dead things. Okay, and finally, finally my head is this jeweler's loop. But as you can see, it's got that rune on it. Funny story, I was supposed to, um, I was trying to etch that rune that's on it. Um, but I got the polarity wrong and uh, gold plated the design on instead. Because I'm clever. But, um, so this rune, I made this for a game. Um, it's supposed to symbolize an ability to look across the worlds. Through the jeweler's loop. So... <laughs> so I can see across the worlds, which makes sense because I've made of dead things and I'm literally haunted. My body is haunted. Okay, I gotta write this shit down. <laughs> I'm gonna forget otherwise. Okay, next I want you to walk over to your bookcase. What? Turn around and close your eyes and pick a book. Rabbits for dummies. So I gotta go downstairs. Hold on, this could take a bit. Here goes. Congratulations! This subject is the thing that your character knows the most about more than any other character in the world. This is probably their job. I am probably a rabbit farmer. Well, that's just what I know the most about. Though I suppose it could have been a lot worse considering what else is on that bookshelf. Oh yeah, what next? Okay, next step is I want you to go to your fridge, open it up without really looking, and just pick something out of there. Pickles. Okay, whatever Great. you pick out of there is what your father was a farmer of. Mustard. Mustard farmer. My father was a mustard farmer. <laughs> Tie a knot in the cherry stem with your tongue. If you cannot do it, your parents are dead. Well, I don't have cherry stems, now, so my parents are dead. Animals. Their abilities are your magical powers. I got the abilities of now, rats. Pick your favorite Pokemon. Oh, super climbing. Is it in your head? Good. That is what your costume is based off of. I look okay, like a Marowak, and I have dead parents, of course. What she did today. 
My mother's gonna be okay, asleep. Okay, once you have done that, congratulations! Whatever she did today is now your favorite pastime. Okay, okay, okay. I need to break down. I need to break this down. So. No, come here. Microphone, point at me. Um, let's get you off. Oh, no, yeah, you're fine. Oh, no, not get you off. Like, not like that. Okay, so. So. Ah, my character's name is Tiger's Eye. My skin is blood colored. My personality is Bitter Grandpa. My right leg is prosthetic, most likely made out of clay. No, sorry, left leg is prosthetic, most likely made out of clay. The right leg is the leg from a giant crow. The right arm is made of amethyst. The left arm is made out of bones and teeth. I am literally haunted, which I am taking to mean that I am possessed by the ghosts of all of the things that I am made out of. I'm, I'm assuming like somebody just chopped a giant crow's leg off and attached it to this ramshackle body and all of the fucking arms and teeth from all of the animals this is apparently made of. I can, because of this thing, look across worlds. So that's, yeah, okay. Um... My parents are dead. I am an expert in Irish myths and legends, which... That's my job, apparently. Oh, shit. I am a weird-ass looking folklorist. Interdimensional folklorist, apparently. Unless this is happening on Earth, which I fucking doubt. Um... <laughs> my, my, my father was a mustard farmer, but he's dead, along with my mother, and I dress like a Marowak. My parents are dead and I dress like a Marowak. And my skin is blood colored. <laughs> oh god, I'm such an edgelord. <laughs> okay, um, I've got the powers of a rat, which means I have an incredible sense of smell. Um, and uh, I'm really, really, really good at climbing. Even though one arm is made out of rock, one leg is made out of clay, and one arm is made out of fucking bones and teeth. So who knows how I got so good at climbing? Practice. Follow your dreams. You can achieve anything. Um, I can't call my mother right now because she's probably asleep at this stage. So, um, I guess my pastime is nothing. Because I don't know. Um... <laughs> okay, yeah, this was this was actually really fun. Um I I think I'd have a lot of fun playing this character. Um especially in trying to come up with a backstory that would explain all of the things. <laughs> I actually now really want to play this ridiculous edge lord. <laughs> Oh, and his name is Tiger's Eye. That explains why he sees across worlds. He has the eyes of a tiger. <gasps> Watching that thing that I haven't actually filmed yet, and I'm actually recording the end of this before I record the middle because it's more efficient that way. You are going to be seeing a lot more gaming type stuff on this channel in the next while. Uh, not not video games because the only video game I really play is Pokemon. I don't think anyone cares about me playing Pokemon, but more RPG stuff, more LARP stuff, um, that kind of thing. There's going to be a playtest and review of Dude Where's My Princess by Disheveled Tabletop Games. I'm going to be trying out other character creator things like this. Um, I'm going to do... I'm going to run a game of Lock, Stock and Barrel by Momo O'Brien. Bunch of other stuff. There, there's even... 
We may even be making some of our own games. I've been toying with system ideas. One for, um, one based on the books that I'll be releasing soon, which would sound a lot more exciting if those books were already released, because then you'd have some context. And the other is, well, I don't have a name for it, but imagine cyberpunk dystopian red wall and you've got a pretty good idea what it's going to be about you'll, you'll be cyberpunk rats living in the post-apocalypse that that's what's going to happen and it's going to be fucking awesome so yeah keep an eye on this subscribe there's there's the hook there's the excuse for you to subscribe cyberpunk rats do it you know you want to know about that yeah